This is how Russia's robot spacecraft delivers supplies to the ISS. This Russian spacecraft may look like your run-of-the-mill satellite, but it actually plays a critical role in delivering supplies to the International Space Station. Russia's Progress spacecraft is loaded onto a Soyuz rocket and launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. After detaching the rocket, the spacecraft flies on an automated two-day route toward the International Space Station. Progress then docks with the ISS, where food and scientific equipment are unloaded. After the robot resupply ship has fulfilled its mission, it will be deorbited and is then expected to sink somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. The spacecraft is said to remain docked with the ISS until December this year. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more space news. New Zealand joins the space race. Test launches for a commercial space rocket built by a startup based both in Los Angeles and New Zealand are scheduled to take place this week. The Rocket Lab Electron is made of carbon composite material, and its rocket boosters use 3D printed Rutherford engines. The rocket's first stage has a cluster of nine electric engines that burn liquid oxygen and refined kerosene. The second stage has a single vacuum optimized engine that can carry payloads weighing up to 225 kilograms. The Electron rocket will deliver small satellites into space. They will be used for mapping, to predict the weather, provide high-speed internet, and analyze the environment. Rocket Lab plans to complete three test launches before the Electron is available commercially. The company plans to eventually build and launch one rocket per week, with flights costing around 5 million US dollars each. Hasta la vista, comrade! The future of Russian artificial intelligence is here, and it can dual-wield handguns. Nope. The final experimental demonstration object research robot, or FEDER for short, is capable of accurately firing two pistols at the same time. Come 2021, Moscow expects to see FEDOR models aboard the ISS and helping cosmonauts tackle space missions. The machine can operate automatically or can be controlled by a human. Initially developed for rescue operations, Russia hopes to use Fedor for military and educational purposes as well. Russia's deputy prime minister tweeted footage of the robot shooting guns in April. He said they're not making a Terminator, but artificial intelligence. Well, that's a relief, right? Uh, right? SpaceX plans to launch thousands of internet satellites. SpaceX has filed an application with the U.S. Federal Communications Commission to launch thousands of satellites in order to provide high-speed internet coverage worldwide. SpaceX's satellite system consists of two sub-constellations of space stations. The first, known as the LEO constellation, would be comprised of 4,425 satellites in an orbit of at least 1,150 kilometers above the Earth. Each satellite can provide service up to 43.95 degrees away from Boresight. The second, Velio constellation, would include 7,518 satellites, orbiting about 335.9 kilometers above the Earth. Each satellite can provide service of up to 51.09 degrees from Boresight. The satellites in the Leo constellation can cover approximately 4.5 million square kilometers while those in the Velio constellation can cover less than one-tenth of that area. The system is designed to provide broadband and communication services for private and professional users worldwide. The deployment of the satellites is expected to begin in 2019 and be completed by 2024. SpaceX to fly two tourists around the moon next year. This week, SpaceX announced bold plans to next year fly two paying passengers around the moon using technology that's still in development. In 2018, SpaceX hopes to fly two private citizens deeper into space than any human has journeyed previously. The two travelers will trek some 400,000 miles around and beyond the moon during the seven-day mission before looping back to Earth. Before training for the mission, SpaceX says each of the unnamed passengers will undergo a series of tests for their health and fitness. The passengers are set to travel aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft shot into orbit by a multi-stage Falcon Heavy rocket. 
the still in design rocket's first stage consists of three reusable rockets that produce half a million pounds of thrust. After separating, the central rocket propels the payload into orbit, where it continues on its voyage. SpaceX founder Elon Musk says the travelers will be trained for emergencies. However, the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which is also still being developed, will be mainly piloted autonomously. The crew can monitor real-time ship diagnostics, change the temperature, and take in views through one of the vessel's four windows. The spacecraft will conduct a flyby of the surface of the moon before traveling further out into space, where no human has gone before. It will then use the moon's gravity to slingshot back toward Earth. SpaceX hopes to launch the mission in late 2018, following a series of tests on the rocket and spacecraft. The identity of those traveling remains unknown, but one thing's for sure, they're very brave individuals indeed, and possibly also Scrooge McDuck Rich. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Saturn Probe enters grand finale. NASA's Cassini spacecraft has begun the final stage of its mission after nearly 20 years traveling in space. The Cassini spacecraft entered its grand finale orbits between Saturn's cloud tops and the planet's rings on April 26, 2017. According to NASA, Cassini survived its first dive between Saturn and its innermost rings, sending back never-before-seen images of the planet's atmosphere, including this hurricane. During the dives, Cassini will measure ice and other content in Saturn's rings and take measurements from the planet's rocky core. Cassini will enter its final orbit on September 15th, in which it is expected to destroy itself by flying directly into Saturn's atmosphere. The Cassini spacecraft was launched in October 1997 from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. It traveled 2.2 billion miles to reach Saturn. NASA finds star system with seven Earth-like planets. NASA this week unveiled a major discovery of a star system that contains seven planets similar to Earth. What's exciting is that three of them might just be habitable enough to support extraterrestrial life. Using the Spitzer Space Telescope and Earth-based telescopes, NASA scientists have found a star system called TRAPPIST-1, located 40 light-years from Earth. The ultra-compact system contains seven Earth-like planets, with surface temperatures low enough to support water. Three of these planets are believed to be in the habitable zone, close to the system's ultra-cool dwarf star. These planets take six, nine, and 12 days, respectively, to orbit the dwarf star. Scientists believe their Earth-like planetary compositions may not only support water, but maybe even life. NASA calculations reckon that all the newly discovered planets have a rocky surface, but the space agency says more investigation is needed to determine if any of them contain water. In 2018, NASA will launch the James Webb Space Telescope and will use this for further research into the TRAPPIST-1 system. This telescope can reportedly pinpoint water, methane, oxygen, ozone, and other elements of a planet's atmosphere. The TRAPPIST-1 system is located 235 trillion miles from our solar system, which means if you wanted to catch a flight there, the journey would take about 44 million years. So, still faster than a Spirit Airlines flight.